Well, well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you're a recurring visitor, I love you. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and comment and share and, you know, and tell all your friends and family and your animal companions. They might get something out of this too. So um, I wrote a little book called uh, You Are Taller Over the Phone and it's available on Amazon. And it's dating tips for men and women and everyone in between. Uh, in the digital age, dating online. So it's a lot of laughs, and it's a lot of um, a lot of useless information to some, especially the married folk, but a lot of valuable information for a lot of people as well. So hey, you got something for everyone in that little book. So today I'm in a series, right in the middle of a series of why we date. And today was supposed to be about competition as a reason to date, but I'm going to move that to tomorrow because something came up and I'm dying to share it with you, okay? All right, gents, this is for you, okay? You see a gal online, and she's got some really hot photographs, right? And you're going, whoa, I would love to engage with her and maybe even have sex with her. So I'm going to write, you are sexy. All right enter and then it goes off and then the next day or that night she picks up an email and says hey you got mail she opens it up and she sees this guy she's not really attracted to uh, or she could be insanely attracted to and she reads you are sexy well I gotta tell you don't call me prudish either all right because I'm not this is about being dignified and word choices because Word choice is critical in the initial stages of dating, especially when you haven't met them, right? So don't use the word sex and don't embed it in another word like sexy or sexual, okay? Just leave it all out. I'll give you an alternative, all right? Just hold on, stay with me here. So she sees the word sexy and it's in a compliment. It's disguised in a compliment. I got, you know what's going in our head subconsciously? This guy, all he wants is sex, right? He's kind of a player, right? And he prioritizes the physical over everything else. And you know, I gotta tell you, a lot of pretty women are smart, okay? Just digest that for a while. It's true. So gentlemen, please, or alpha females, same thing. If you initiate contact, which I don't recommend. In your initial comment, or email to this lovely young lady or middle-aged lady or older lady use the word lovely okay it's a beautiful word every age should learn to use it with grace and ease you can also use stunning or um, electrifying or wow you captivating you really stood out from a crowd um, anything but the word sex or, or it's brothers or sisters, okay, please. Uh, that's my tip for today. And believe me, if you, if you just be careful of your word choices. I know you're feeling it inside, but process those feelings and translate them on paper accordingly. Remember your audience. If you wanna get this girl into a relationship, get to know her better over coffee or a dinner, use something more respectful. Use words that that will keep her reading, that will make her feel good about herself on the inside. Today, please do something special for yourself. Do something loving for yourself, right? Because a person who loves themselves, not in a narcissistic way, okay, I know where you're going with this, but generally cares and respects themselves, is incredibly sexy, really is very sexy. So take care of yourself. Do something loving. Think loving thoughts. That's the even. That's a great start. All right. Well, I want to get back to uh, my sequel. Oh, one last thing. I'm starting to get my scripts coming in. So, um, as I mentioned before, I'm starting a little movie series based on my book, and the scripts are rolling in. And I'm really, really excited about that. So it's going to be funny. They're going to be short because uh, we don't have a lot of time in this lifetime anymore, right? I mean. 
we're all sort of ADD, right? So five, 10 minutes long, but they're gonna be funny and you're gonna walk away thinking, oh, okay, now I know what to do and what not to do. This is gonna be so much fun, all right? I'm very excited, so stay tuned with that too. All right, I'm getting back to my sequel. Take care.